welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious buckwheat pancakes. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you my delicious buckwheat pancakes. Now this recipe is really easy and it's almost pancake day in the UK and if you're wondering what pancake day is well basically it's a biblical thing so it's from the Bible many years ago when the UK used to run out of food which we did um, the church would tell the congregation to eat up all of their leftovers in their pantries and then fast until Easter when there was more food again so that's why we celebrate pancake day and it's a tradition that's kept going I don't know how and I don't know why but it just has people seem to love it here in the UK so I thought I'd share some slightly different pancakes with you but they are still yummy and I'm going to be making these into pizzas today and that will be my next video so watch out for that on my channel but as I said today I'm going to be making my delicious buckwheat pancakes I've got myself a large mixing bowl and I've weighed and measured out my ingredients so in this bowl here I have about 120 grams of buckwheat flour and then in this bowl here I have about 60 grams of tapioca flour and I'm going to mix these flours together and this is going to form the base of my pancake mix basically and then I'm going to add two large eggs to this as well so to make pancake mixture you really want equal quantities of each so if two large eggs doesn't look equal then I might add a third or maybe even a fourth but I'm just going to test it and see first I don't know I think I might need a third egg actually to be honest so I'm just going to crack this like so that isn't a bit of shell that is a big bit of shell in there don't want shell in there do we right so I think I'm going to crack a third egg because I've got a really large egg here so I'm going to crack a third egg and I think that's probably about equal quantities of each and then I'm going to add in about 200 mils of milk and I'm going to see how thick the batter is and then I might need to add some more milk in I'm just getting a cup so I'm just going to add about 200 mils of milk and then I shall whisk these together I'm just going to use a fork to whisk these together but if you if you like using a whisk then please use a whisk but I actually prefer a fork to whisk them together with and it should end up looking like pancake mix basically so I think that's perfect like that and as I mentioned in my intro I'm going to be making these into pizzas after I've finished making the base basically so this is going to be a base for a pizza and that will be my next video now in an ideal world I would put this mix into the fridge overnight and I would let it sit in the fridge unfortunately it's not an ideal world so um, I won't be able to put it in the fridge our fridge actually broke this morning as well we only have one fridge in the house now it's a very small one so I've had to put everything in there so yes I won't be able to put the batter mix in the fridge um, but also you might if you wanted to you could put it in there for half an hour or so but as I don't have a fridge I'm just gonna have to cook it straight away so I'm gonna go and cook the pancake mix now so I've got a frying pan and I'm going to put this onto a high heat on my hob and I'm going to add oil to the base of the pan and you need a lot of oil for pancakes so don't be shy with the oil you do need a lot to stop them from sticking it to the bottom of your pan so I'm just going to leave this pan now to heat up my pan is getting nice and hot and I can see the pan is smoking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ladle full of pancake mix to the base like so 
I'm just going to leave this to cook now. So depending on how big you want the pancakes, depends on how much of a ladle full you want. I normally find like a batch like this will make four to six pancakes this size, and that's perfect for us. Um, but if you wanted them bigger, then obviously you could use a bigger pan, or if you wanted them smaller, then just use less mixture, and maybe a slightly smaller pan if you've got one. So I'm just leaving this to cook around so you can see it's starting to cook around the outside and what you want to happen is you want bubbles to form as well on the pancake and then once they start to form you can normally flip it over like so and that's perfect that's cooked on that side so I'm just going to cook this on the other side and then I'll continue to cook the rest of the pancake mix as well so yeah, I'm just going to continue to cook this now. Yep, I think that's done. That's perfect, that. So I'm going to take that off and leave that to cool and I'm going to cook the rest of the pancake mix. I just wanted to say that the pan has started to smoke quite a lot. So I have turned the heat down. I'm just going to add a bit more oil to the base of the pan. That should cool it off a little bit, hopefully. And so I've turned the heat down and hopefully these won't cook as fast as the last one did the pan was super hot when i cooked so yeah that's perfect that's much better and again i'm just going to wait for these to cook around the outside and in the middle and then i will flip them over so i'm just waiting for this to cook so these as you can see have started to cook around the outside and in the middle so i'm going to flip that over and that's a lovely golden brown color and I'm going to leave that to cook on the other side now and try not to get it. Oh, perfect tiny little pancake on my hob as well at the same time. Hmm, yummy. So again, this is cooked on the other side and it's got a lovely golden brown colour. So I'm going to put that on my cooling rack. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to finish cooking the rest of the pancake mix. That's how you make my delicious buckwheat pancakes. And that recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be making these into pizzas now. And that recipe will be coming up on Thursday. So watch out for that on my channel. But for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye